Welcome back to the Now Tampa Bay. We want to take a break for a moment from any negative or political news right now. Let's do that. Uh, earlier this week, members of the Tarpon Springs Little League, they found out that they had been robbed, allegedly by their own president, for thousands of dollars. But the story is about to get better. Yeah, our Serena Fazan found out support is pouring in from rivals. Don Ozak is president of the Largo Little League, but one league, she tells me, is all part of a huge family, encompassing all Little Leagues. It's an organization that's ran strictly by volunteers. We're out there on our free time with all of our kids trying to make a difference. And they're showing their commitment. News this week coming out of neighboring Tarpon Springs rattled her, as well as 11 other league presidents in their community. Police say this man, John Farrar, the president of Tarpon Springs Little League, admitted to stealing nearly $13,000 from the league account. And now the league League says there may be thousands more still missing. It was heartbreaking to hear. So as a league, all 12 of our leagues got together and discussed and said that we wanted to help them out so they can get back into the positive again. But it's just more cash they now need to raise. We asked what their needs were at their field at this time, and we kind of got a list, went through it. All of them are contributing. Ozak can't speak for other leagues, but hers is trying to make sure the concession stands are up and running before Tarpon's games next week. If you don't have a concession stand open, you're not going to be able to, you know, stay strong. <laughs> she says while this could be seen as a setback for Tarpon, it could also help teach a valuable lesson. Her own two boys are in Little League. To me as a whole, it's just giving back. It's paying it for trying to help them so they can continue doing things as a league and get strong again. For the now, I'm Serena Fazan.